We see the leaves turn and know it's time. A rite of passage with the field as a classroom and hash marks as guidelines. We see teammates becoming friends, friends becoming brothers. We see moms and dads standing taller as their kids dig deeper. We hear laughter and lectures pads popping, praises sung through a face mask, echoing over proving grounds, where character grows stronger and lessons last a lifetime. But we also feel the power of teamwork and the magic of mutual goals. We feel the emotions of triumph and loss, the development and growth of team. And that's why we do what we must to certify coaches are trained, to verify safety measures are taken, testify about the values of the game, to strive relentlessly to satisfy every player and coach's desire to be better. We are caretakers of playing fields that yield enriched lives, teachers and protectors of an American tradition. It is a responsibility we all take seriously, a challenge we all must embrace. Because we are forever football. Panther Stadium in Maslin, Ohio. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jeff Shreve, along with Troy Richardson. Welcome to USA Football's National Development Camp, the 11th and final game. It's been three weeks of competition. Middle schoolers trying to show what they have to make the national team. Yeah, the goal is to make Team USA. But to get here, they had to go to a two-day camp at first, get selected to come to this camp. There were 27 of those camps. There's seven of these camps from around the country. 360 players here this week from 38 different states from around our great nation to try to make it for Team USA. We're in week three, Jeff. Game 11, our final game here. 
of the three weeks at Perry Stadium from Walsh University as we get ready for our players to watch. Uh, we have Elijah Burris, number 16, and tight end J.C. Latham, and they are from the blue team. For the red team, Caden Lansford at quarterback, Hatchet at defensive line, and Fryer on the offensive line. And if these games are as good as what we saw earlier today with the defensive and offensive line play, Jeff, we're in for quite a treat. These are middle schoolers. They play a modified set of rules. We'll talk about that as the game unfolds. The one thing that we should pass along, it is hot here in Maslin, Ohio. We are in northeastern Ohio, just down the road from Canton in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, and it is uh, 95 or so, and they're playing on turf in full uniform. It's a lot. And when it, and we were talking about being on the turf at about another five to seven degrees off the temperature, the way the heat just bounces off that turf here at Perry Stadium. And it's a lot for these young men to play. And as you said, Je uh, Jeff, in full pads as well. Captain's gathering at midfield for the coin toss. Introduction of the officials. It has been uh, three weeks of practice, competition, bus rides, dining as a team. These players are all, they all come in as a pool and then are divided up on the various teams to try to keep a competitive balance among the teams when they play these games. Yeah, Thursday night, uh, they practice Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday night, they had what's called a jamboree, a controlled scrimmage. Yeah, Their first time in full contact going up against someone else. Good opportunity to get some hitting out of the way. They also take a trip to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio. And Jeff, as you know, in a couple of weeks, it's going to get kind of crazy here in Stark County with the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Team we'll start with the ball on their own the annual the enshrinement line. ceremony and uh, the Hall of Fame game, of course, would highly recommend okay. if you've never been Let's there this week, please put that on your punch list. You need to come for the Hall of Fame weekend. This year, it's a big one. Brett Favre is going in. Tony Dungy is going in. It's going to be a jam-packed week, and that comes in about, uh, well, pretty much uh, two weeks, I think. Two weeks, it does, I think that first weekend of August. If you haven't done it, like Jeff said, it is a tr it is a treat coming to Stark County to see it. They've been putting it on for years. I love it. You get a chance to stop by the Hall of Fame. It's, it's always a great trip to Stark County and Canton for the Pro Football Hall of Fame. But the order at hand now, the blue team and the silver team, and get into these modified rules while we have a moment. Well, they're, they're going to be able to punt the ball. There's no rush. And where you field the ball out off the punt is where you're going to get the ball. No kickoff. After a score, you get the ball at the 35-yard line. To start the half, you get the ball at the 35-yard line. You are kicking PATs. You are kicking field goals. Um, but there is no rush on that. And as you might see throughout the game, uh, the kickers get an opportunity to kind of tee the ball up the way they want it um, for PATs and field goals. The blue team won the toss. They defer to the second half. Silver will start out first and 10. A penalty marker on the game's first play. John Norman, the running back out of Texas. I think that's going to be for too many men on the field or illegal participation as the blue team was trying to run a player off the field at the end. Matt Lowe, number two, is the quarterback for Team Silver from Virginia. Get a good look the there. Sideline, having a chat with his coach. John Norman, a running back out of Texas. Definitely a treat. Thanks for tuning in, folks. You're going to get to watch some great football here. One of the best middle school football players in the United States. It is a five yard penalty on the blue team first down five from the 40. game's opening drive low the handoff Ooh. and some really hard hitting in there john norman ran into a stack reloaded went again ran into a stack well norman just keeps his feet going which is a sign of a good running back tries to lower his shoulder but a great job there good penetration by the defensive line stacking him up at the line of scrimmage not allowing them to get any room to run. Low looks right, throws right, hooks up at the 40-yard line, and a great open field tackle over there. LaMarco Yates, LaMarco Yates from with Iowa with the reception, but stopped shy of the first down on a good defensive play. Just that little sideline bubble screen there. Uh, to the sideline, nice job of coming up from the defense, getting off their blocks. 
making the tackle for very little game, bringing up third and two, third and short. You won't see a whole lot of huddling in this game. Now they're gonna try to play speed ball here. They wanna get a lot of reps in, try to show off the, uh, the skill of these different players. Third and two from their own 43. And the quarterback hangs on to it. This is low down the sideline. He's got one man to beat inside the 10, and they ride him out of bounds at the five-yard line. First down, goal to go. Great read on the zone read by Madden. Low quarterback out of Virginia. Kind of a magician with the football here as he's going to ride that tailback. He's going to check the backside defensive end. Look at him right here. He's going to mesh. He's reading backside. Oh, I'm going to pull it out, reach that tackle. Rushing up field, he's gonna pull it out, and he's gonna pick up about 30 yards. Norman goes back to work number as he spins to the floor. Norman tripped up by number 85. Second down, right goal to go. Matthews. That's just that zone read that so many teams you know at the high school and the college level have gone Second to goal from in the recent three. years. Norman again, squares up the shoulders near the goal line and in for a silver Number touchdown. Five, John Norman finally got the signal. Great job of meshing here at the quarterback silver. and tailback with less than a week of practice time. It's kind of tough to do, but you're just going to take a good look here. On the replay, he's going to put it in there. The defensive end takes the quarterback, so he's going to put it right in his belly, and he's able to pick up the three yards for the touchdown. Low is the holder, and Jackson Landrum. Jackson Landrum in to attempt the extra right point. Pointed soccer style kicker trying to add the extra point. Line drive kick is and up and through. 7.57 left to play. We've had one seven, possession seven. and one and touchdown. 7 0 Team Silver. Yeah, Team Silver gets on the board quickly, 2 3 into the first quarter, as they just march it right down the field after a long run by Madden Lowe, the good quarterback out of Virginia. Only one passing play by my count. Kept that football on the ground. Pretty high quarterback rating so far. So you get together with a bunch of guys you never played with. You have some practices, you have some games, you have some practices, you have more games. You would think that they would tend to run the ball more than rely on the, the timing that's required for a passing game. Well, they really simplify the passing tree. In, in four or five days, you don't have much time to get a complicating passing system in. So you're gonna see a lot of those sideline bubble screens. A lot of just simple go routes, a couple of double move actions, maybe a rub play or two, but, but not too many different passing plays. Ken Seals is the quarterback for the blue team. He'll hand off to Elijah Burris, running back from North Carolina. And he will lose yardage on the play all the way back to the 29. Great play by number 60, Hatchet, as we talked about him earlier as one of the players to watch out of Washington State, as he does a nice job of just playing in the backfield of the blue team. Seals, again the handoff, this is Burris. Away from one tackler, but cannot get away from Hatchet. Two plays and two tackles for Hatchet. Good relentless play by Hatchet, but nice backside penetration by the backside uh, defensive line of Silver, and I think that was 91. Uh, Borden getting, uh, Bordo getting good penetration and defensive lineman out of New York. Third down, 11. Ken Seals with time. Now the pocket collapses and he'll run. Drop the ball with down on one knee to pick it up. He's down immediately at the 33. It's fourth down at about 11. Looks like number 88, John Skimmer in there, defensive lineman out of Wisconsin. Great job here by the front four for Silver. They've been dominant the first three plays of their defensive uh, series. Parker Hannon, number three. The kicker for the blue team in punt formation. You mentioned there's no rush on a kick. Same thing for the punt situation. The ball's down where they touch it. Wherever they field it at is where you get the football. The blue team, not sure they have the right number of players. But with no rush. No rush. It's not literally no rush. The high floater, it's grabbed at the 45 yard line of Team Silver. Silver with the lead and the ball, 5.43 to play in the opening period. 
See what they can do with the ball here on their second possession. Don't forget, Big Time Sports. You can always check us out on the web at BigTimeSportsOhio.com. Twitter at BTS Ohio. We're going to be tweeting at some of the players as we've done throughout the last three weeks. In USA Football, you want to find out more information for your son or daughter. Yes, they have it for women as well. Go to USAFootball.com. I'd like to thank our good friends at Rydell for sponsoring this quarter. And Lowe still at quarterback. You see a lot of substitutions on both teams. There you go. And Norman, nowhere to go. Big number 91. Ron Terrius Aldridge out of South Carolina comes up from his defensive line position and just blows the play up. Direction, that's Brandon Edwards with that carry out of South Carolina. Low, quick pass, grabbed by Tyler Savage. He's dropped immediately, and right now it looks like the blue team has 15 players out there on defense. They're everywhere. That was Artie Taylor just flying around out of California, making the trip here from California from his defensive back position, making a great open field tackle. Another third and long for Low. Rolls. Still looking downfield, he wants to throw, he does throw, it is incomplete at the 30 yard line. He tried to hook up with Marcellus Scott. Pass was broken up by number Scott 30. did get a hand on it, but Chisholm. there for the coverage, and a pretty good play was Chisholm. Kind of see a pretty good defensive play here, as you see a nice, nice tight spiral being thrown. That's tough on the run, rolling to your right, under pressure, under duress, gets rid of it, throws it downfield. This gets broken away. Good defensive play there by the DB to break it up. Pressure on the play by Luke Horn, who broke free on that defensive line. Luke Horn looked pretty good the other night at the Jamboree as well. Fourth down, 15. Here's the punt, high spiral. And grabbed at the 30-yard line. Taken by Blue will 16, take over. First and 10 with 440 left to play. Blue Quarter number one. Blue see if they can't get something line. going here. They're, I tell you, it's been a defensive battle other than, you know, one big play by the quarterback there. Both defenses stepping up. See if Blue can't get some type of offense garnered. Here we have the change of possession. Blue coming out of the huddle. Rydell, the industry leader in football head protection, is proud to support the U.S. national team as USA football's official helmet and protective equipment partner. We'll go to the ground. And number 21, Jayer Dunn, Jayer Dunn by number 98, California. John Skinner. John Skinner again, though. Big number 98. Making the play down the line of scrimmage. I like how these defensive linemen do a good job of pursuing down the line of scrimmage. They don't get too deep. They make the play down the line. Great play there by Skinner. Good open field tackle. In the games that we've seen, the defensive line has really seemingly had to step over the offensive lines. And that's not surprising since the offensive line requires a lot more precision. Yeah, your defense is always going to be a little bit ahead of the offense, especially in a short period like this. It always takes a while, and, and I've noticed in these games, it takes about a quarter, quarter and a half for the offensive line to start meshing and to start playing as that cohesive unit. Brings up third down Pass and completion five. to the 35 will bring up third and five. Austin Sly at quarterback. He almost had one picked off near midfield. He was trying to hook up on the sideline a little bit late. And over to break it up was Lamarco Yates. Yates does a nice job getting the break there. Pass is broken up. Brings up four. Get flushed out of the pocket again. Number three coming up to break it up is Yates. Parker Hannon will punt. High end over end, and this will be grabbed right on the 50-yard line. 
First and 10, Silver with a 7 0 lead at 327 to play, quarter number one, and they've got the ball back. Real good field position. Yeah, Silver's got a good chance here off the change of possession to get the ball at the 50. It's a good place to start anytime you're the offense with 327 to go here in the first quarter. Only playing 10 minute quarters today. And it is a hot one, Jeff. That's plenty with what they're up against. See a lot of the fans bringing umbrella. It's not because of the rain showers. It's just to keep that heat off your neck and your head. The first time today, we do have a pretty stiff breeze. It is at the back of the silver team as they head down the field. I make it a little difficult sometimes to throw into that sun today as well. Norman over the 40. First down, Silver. They'll wrap him up at the 37. Norman showed a nice job getting another gear there from the backfield. Good mesh with the quarterback, tailback. No huddle here. They're just trying to run plays quickly. Norman takes the snap directly. Or did he? Now it'll be Lowe who hangs on to it to the 30. Tackle Just straight ahead, power, 20, smash mouth football. Artie Nothing fancy Taylor. with that one. It's going to bring up second and about six. Gain of about five on the play. It's going to bring up second down and five. Aiden Lansford from Oregon working at quarterback. Gives to Norman. Second Number effort gets him to 30 Brown yard line. It's a gain of carry. one. It's going to bring up Battle third and about 50, three. Dallas Rogers. Get a chance here. You know, you can always run a swing pass here, a bubble screen. Run the ball as well. Got a lot of different options when you're looking at third and less third than four, and third three. and less than five. Two minutes left to play. Running clock. We're in the first period. Lansford, quick pitch. That is caught by Scott. He's hit immediately at the 24-yard line, but good enough for a first down. Hey, it's all, it's all about trying to move the sticks. As you get a good look at it right here. Nice job, stands tall in the pocket, knows where he's got to get for the first down, turns, gets up field. Great open field tackle there by number 20, 24, Hank Olson, coming up from the secondary position. Olson out of Wisconsin. Aiden Lansford checking the sideline. Shifts Norman to his right. He will fake the handoff. Lansford will keep it. Got away from one defender and gets back to the line of scrimmage for no gain. Well, not much of a chance to do anything right there. Tackled by number 90. We're going to take a look at the replay coming up. Getting in the backfield is number 91, blowing it up. Coming up to make the final tackle. You got number 75 getting in there. Number 79 also for the blue team and number 90. Gabriel Lloyd out of Texas. There's a fumble on the exchange and the quarterback, Lansford, able to pick it up and prevent any further damage. Lose yardage to the 26. Well, that's one of those things when you have such a short period of time to practice, trying to get all your timing, trying to get the snaps out. With so much zone read here out of the shotgun, just want to make sure you get the snap every time. Third down 12, we are at 35 seconds left in the period. Lansford heads to the sidelines and a new quarterback in on third and long. This is Lowe back to throw. He will run, he's got room. Good move, gets in the sideline. He's to the 15 and he's very close to a first down. Nice job by Lowe there, evading the pressure just as drills you do for that. He can tell he's been very well coached. He evades the pressure, gets through it, gets under the defense. Down. Gonna take a look here. He's going to drop back the pass. He's going to start getting flushed out. Steps up in the pocket, keeps the ball up. Now he decides to tuck it and does a very nice job of getting downfield. Looks He's going like to bring up fourth and short. Fourth down and into. 18 seconds left to play in the opening quarter. Let's get it, Lowe gets the play from the sideline. Less than a yard for a first. Lowe gives to Norman. He's got it. All the way down to the 12-yard line. John Norman with the That's going to be enough for the first Luke down. Horn with the tackle. That looks like that could be the end of that. First and 10, 14 they are heading to the sideline, and it is, in fact, the end of the period. Timeout after That's one quarter play at Massillon, Ohio. Yeah,
Team Silver, seven. Team Blue, nothing. Team Blue, nothing. Rydell, the industry leader in football helmet technology and innovation, is proud to serve as the official helmet and protective equipment partner for the U.S. national team and to be a supporter of the U.S. national development game. For more on Rydell, visit Rydell.com. Protect what matters most. The USA Football Protection Tour is a series of free, one-day football camps that educate youth football players, parents, and coaches on the importance of proper equipment fitting, tackling fundamentals, and CDC-approved concussion recognition and response protocols. Watch for this year's Protection Tour schedule and sign up today for an event near you. The icon of the game. The icon of competition. The icon of athleticism. The icon of fandom. The icon of the future. The future of football is now. Second quarter about to begin. Team Silver up 7-0 and driving. Looks like they're looking for some personnel as well. Don't have quite the people they want on the field. Is, these are the things you get in this, <laughs> this type of environment. Now here it comes. So Madden Lowe, the quarterback, recognizing they were a man down. No, we need that left guard. Don't leave home without it. And off will go left side, Cade Campbell, running back from Indiana, inside the 10. Blue team uh, guessed wrong, they were bringing the heat from the boundary side of the field. Short side, they uh, guessed wrong in the blitz, but manages to pick up about four yards. Now see there's just an outside zone read, trying to just outflank the defense. Good job of stepping up in the secondary, coming up to make the tackle. Lowe hangs on to it, needs to get away from a lineman, wants to throw, does throw, it is incomplete. Had a man open briefly in the end zone, but a great cutback defensively by Team Blue, Efton Chisholm. Looked like he was trying to look for Tyler Savage as his receiver. Play action here, does a nice job, spins out of it. Does a nice job of avoiding the rush by number 85, Riker Matthews. Tries to put the ball in a tight window it's kind of a tight throw to make, a gutsy play there. Quarterback keeps it. Inside the five to the four. It's gonna be pretty close to that first down. Reads it again. This time he elects to keep it. It's gonna bring him pretty close to the first down. Gonna bring up fourth and short, fourth and probably less than a two feet. Coming up on about 9.20 to play. And that's one way to pick up the first down. It's always nice when you pick up the ball, Je uh, pick up a first down, Jeff, when you don't even have to run a play. It's gonna put the ball on about the two yard line. First down, goal to go. Low, gives to Campbell. Looked like he had a hole, but somebody grabbed his ankle and wouldn't prevent or prevented him from scoring. Joshua Albertson, the linebacker from Florida, came in and filled that gap. Looks like uh, Sparks maybe also in on the tackle. 45 gets to him early, as you said. Ball of big number 79 as well. Daniel Cortezzi out of California. Second down, goal to go. This is Norman to the goal line and in for a silver touchdown. Good second effort, puts him into the end zone. Score comes with 8.39 left to play, second period. Just gonna see him there, he gets hit there. Does a nice job driving through the tackler, manages to get into the end zone. Just a different type of runner than Campbell. Yeah. 
And that's a good thing to have in your arsenal. Jackson Landrum knocks the extra point up and through, and with 8.39 to play second period, it's now 14 to nothing in favor of the silver team. Let's see if the blue team can come back, get some type of offense going. Uh, they haven't had much of a chance to catch their breath here as silver just has been clicking on all cylinders. We'd like to thank Siege Sports. They're proud to be the official uniform partner of the U.S. national team. Follow Siege Sports on Twitter to check out the custom uniforms and apparel they create for high school and college teams nationwide. To learn more, visit SiegeSports.com. Get a good look there in the huddle of the blue team. Blue team needs to put something together here. Ethan Saylor, quarterback oh, wow. from Wisconsin, airs one oh. out and almost had him a touchdown. Had Adrecki Brown open right through his hands. Look at how open he is on this, but look at the pass. Quarterback stands tall in the pocket, steps up, puts it right on the money. He's got seven yards separation. That's one he'd like to have back. But you know what, Jeff? I think they're going to come back to him again. If you can get that open once, hey, you can do it again. This time they're going to run that little swing pass out of the backfield. Going to pick up a holding there, I think, on Brown. But a nice job getting the ball out to number six, Freeman the fourth. Clarence Freeman the fourth out of California. Just going to have a line, a little, or a wide receiver, a little too aggressive on his uh, block on the perimeter. He's going to make it second down again. Take a look at the play here. Quarterback just looks a little swing pass out, bubble. You know, see the hold at the top of your screen, just almost a tackle as well. Second down, ten. Taylor facing the rush, got away, not from the second wave as they wrap him up at the 22. That was just a whole swarm of defenders coming at him. You had Connor Myers coming in, getting part of the sack. You also had number 50 getting in on the action as well, Dylan Brooks, but he just could not get away from that entire rush from that silver defense bringing up third and 23. Third and long for Sailor. High and deep down the right side. It's incomplete. Tried to hook up with Nicholas Elkins. Not quite sure if he didn't get hit as he was throwing the football. So we can check it out here on the replay. See him right back here. Bobbles the snap a little bit. Great job of recovering. And he just had to step up a little awkwardly because of the defender there. But good defense played by number 21. Jeffrey Wells to break the play up. Running team on for Team Blue, Parker Hannon. Number three, Parker Hannon into punt for Team Blue. Just under seven and a half left to play. Second quarter. Hannon high end over end kick, and it will be grabbed right on the 40 yard line. Well, Silver's got a short field to work with a jet. With work with Jeff as they've already got a 14 to nothing lead. Well, officially placed at the 41. Well, you're right. That's exactly what Blue did not need to give the Silver team field position. When you go with these no huddle offenses, if you don't string together two, three, four first downs, you turn it over on a three and out. Your defense has zero time to recover. We've got penalty markers. I think we might have offsides on. Offside yep, on the blue team. The Left defensive team end got a head start. Five Trying to jump penalty. the gun there, make make Silver. something happen. First and five for Team Silver. Oh. 
So first and five. Jake Langdon, running back from Indiana, gets the carry, and we have a man slow in getting up for the silver team. Landon does a nice job here, kind of twisting, turning his way, keeping his body going forward, breaking tackles here, getting downfield, manages to pick up enough for a first down as we've got a player, as you said, Jeff, uh, kind of cramping up maybe with this heat that we have. Beautiful day here at Pear. I mean, it's a great day to be outside if you don't mind the 95, 98 degree <laughs> heat and the humidity. Well, they tend to the injured player. Let's step aside with the score 14 nothing in favor of Team Silver. Heads Up Football is the best and in fact the only good way I know of changing the culture. It's really been about uh, creating a safer environment for our kids. Being the pilot program for Heads Up Football and me being the first player safety coach, it's completely changed everything. We're looking around going, why aren't we all doing this? There is nothing here that fundamentally changes the game of football. There's nothing here that we're not currently teaching. We're just teaching it in 25 different ways. And ultimately, there's the potential that we see a return that we're making the game safer. Everything evolves, everything grows, and this is the right thing, the most responsible thing to do. As a league administrator, I mean, I can't even imagine a program that doesn't do it. They adopted this because they love the game. But also, in a couple of years, the youth become high school players. It's an evolving project. The injured player was offensive lineman Quaishon Weems, off under his own power. Back to live action here with a handoff to Jake Langdon, who reverses field and gets inside the 20-yard line. Well, Langdon does a nice job of getting out of the backfield, getting out of the tackle of number 91, Retelius Aldridge. He's just going to get a look at it here. Does a nice job in the backfield. He's going to escape one tackle. I'm sorry, that's Gabriel Lloyd out of Texas. Nice seal block to the inside. Sprint to the uh, sideline. Good open field tackle by number 48, uh, Ray Jr. out of Missouri. Ball was supposed to go to the right, but he did the math and saw nine players over there and said, I bet there's only two behind me. Yeah, discretion the better part of Valor. This one, not the same result as Langdon is wrapped up for a loss. As Dallas Rogers in on the tackle along with big number 91 Aldridge also. We look at Rodgers, he's uh, Dallas Rodgers out of Nebraska. And uh, they know how to play some football over in Nebraska, Jeff. Definitely all throughout the Midwest. Under six minutes left to play until halftime. And the silver team threatening to go up by three scores here. Lansford with the pass and the connection inside the 15 close to the 12-yard line before they wrap up the receiver. Victor Chapman coming in on the uh, sure tackle in the open field. Young man out of Wisconsin. You're going to take a look at it here. I love how these quarterbacks stand tall in the pocket. Throws it right through the window. Chapman right there. Make the play. But look how his buddies are coming in trying to strip that football. First man stands him up. Second man strips it. And you notice, Jeff, the tempo slowed down here a little bit. Teams are starting to huddle up now as opposed to trying to go no huddle. Alex Winiarchik with the catch and went off. Looks like his right foot is bothering him a little bit. They'll take care of him on the sideline. Back to live action on third and six. And I believe we got a timeout. It is a silver timeout with four minutes and 50 seconds left to play second quarter. I don't think they thought they were going to get the play in on time. Don't forget, you can check us out on the web at, BT, at BigTimeSportsOhio.com. I'd also like to thank our good friends at Physio Control. That's Physio Control, home of the Physio Control timeout. 
USA Football is proud to partner with the nation's leading AED provider, Physio Control. Learn more about how you can get Physio Control AEDs at usafootball.com backslash AED. And Jeff, how often do you walk around, you're at a store, an office building, you see an AED hanging up on the wall for the emergencies that, you know, you don't want it to, you don't want to have to use it, but you're glad it's there when you do. Well, they were ready to break the huddle, but I uh, decided not to. There'll be a third and six call from the 12-yard line. Blue team digging in. They really need to get a stop. be interesting to see if there's a field goal attempt if they don't pick up the first down. Quarterback draw all the way. Lansford. And he may have fumbled the ball. They're going to say he was down. Riker Matthews right in there on the play. Let's take a look at this here. To draw the whole way. He's got to see him. He reads it well. Looks like he's going to be close. It's going to be about a yard short. Let's see what they try to do with it here. Fourth down. When they get it all situated, about a yard and a half. Now they are going to try for the field goal. You know what? You know what you need on this? A holder. Kicker's best friend, Jackson Landrum, is the kicker. And Madden Low, one of the quarterbacks, is the holder. This a 25-yard attempt. It's good. <coughs> nice job. Looked like that would have been good from 35. 345 left to play in the first half. Make it 17-0. Team Silver. Silver's shown a good job here offensively, defensively. Moving the football, capitalizing on some turnovers. Blues just got to, they got to get some type of offense going here. Just give their defense a chance to recover a little bit from this heat. 345 to go here in the in the second quarter. Hard to believe, Jeff. Three weeks of football, 11 games, over a thousand players converging on Canton, Ohio for USA football. These young men are trying to earn a spot on the United States national team, trying to play an in international competition. Where the red, white, and blue. And folks, yes, there is international football competition being played throughout the world. It too. Some of it was played in Stark County right around here last year. There is Burris, gathers himself, it's a second wind, and he's out of bounds, very close to a first down. I don't think he got there, Troy, but second down and short. As he's finally driven out of bounds by uh, Kayvon Tyler here. You gotta see it right there on the handoff. Breaks one tackle, finally gets driven out of bounds. And you talked about, it. we did the world championships last year, Jeff. Uh, I was talking with one of the Australian coaches. They're actually going to be doing a, uh, going to be an assistant coach this year for Canton McKinley, one of the Australian national coaches from their national team. Burris has the first down of the second effort. He is into silver territory to the 45-yard line, first and 10. Good run by Burris. Runs low, low pad level. Low man wins. Hey, if you're going to come up and make the tackle, you got to get your head across the body, keep your head up, and you got to wrap up. Arm tackles, there's one arm tackle, not going to work. Hey, how about I try an arm tackle? Guess what? Not going to work. You got to finally get him low and wrap up, and that is a great open field ta tackle. That's textbook. Keeps his head up and drives to the tackle. Just over three minutes until halftime. Burris again with the left side and loses his footing. Slides in at the 40 after a gain of about four. Looks like the turf just came up and bit him right there. The turf monster strikes again. A pretty important drive for the blue team. They get the ball to start the second half as well. Well, and you want to get confidence. You, you need a confidence drive as well, showing that you can march the ball 65 yards, maybe take nine or 10 plays, take some time off the clock as well. Seals hands off to Burris. This one's up the middle. Elijah Burris has first down yardage. Well, he runs hard. Very hard, and he runs downhill as well as this blue offensive line starting to gash Team Silver a little bit as well. Gets through, just keeps marching it downfield. 
from North Carolina. He's played in humidity before. It's a good ball played down there in ACC country. This one goes to Jair Dunn. And strung out well by the defensive line. He'll lose about a yard. Well, one thing you hate to see if you're an offensive coach is your running back making curves when they're getting bellied back in the backfield. And a lot of that happens by good defensive penetration up front by the silver team. You want your, you want your running backs running east to west as little as possible. You want them running north and south. Beg your pardon, I did my math again. He lost four yards. Seals pass is incomplete. Some miscommunication with his intended receiver. Looked like he tried to hook up over there with Jabris Brown. Brown zigged and the quarterback zagged. And the ball hit the ground. 134, clock stopped. Let's see if Blue can just pick up a first down. I always think this is four down territory with just a minute 34 to go. Ken Seals, quarterback from Texas, will swing it out. Clarence Freeman, the fourth. Got out a little bit of bounds at the 32. Bob, but some laundry came on the field there by the officials. Flag right on the 35 yard line. It's an infraction against the blue team. It's going to back him up. This little swing pass right away, but belly's back, picks up a block, spins, but you see the hold up top, top of your screen. Going to bring up fourth down. So I think you go for it here, because even if you don't get it, you're still only giving them about a minute 26 to try to move the football. Fourth down, nine. High snap, Seals taps it to himself. Rolls, he wants to run for it, and he will not get there. Pretty fair defensive play over there. Nathan Lubinsky, a linebacker from Wisconsin. Nice job of pursuing him right down the line of scrimmage. He manages to get some of it back, but that high snap, just to get through that was impressive in and of itself. But good pursuit coming right down the line of scrimmage, and that's what you like. You like your linebackers working sideline to sideline. On the 30. With 116. Silver huddling up. Kind of gone over some of their options. Looks like they've got two timeouts as well. They're going right into the wind. Which is finally kicked up for some of our fans here. That'll make them happy. Off goes for no gain. New quarterback for the silver team, Nicholas Perez from Florida. Artie Taylor getting in on that tackle again. We've called his name a lot. He steps up pretty quickly from the defensive back position out of California. And now a timeout will be called with 55 seconds left. Well, Silver's got one more timeout to use as well. They're going to talk it over what they want to do. If you're blue, you just want to contain them here. You don't want to give them up. You don't want to give up another score right before the half. That's well, a learning opportunity more than anything. Gatorade for athletes who move the game forward. We're creating the fuel to do the same, innovating beyond hydration to create the future of sports. Fueling today, fueling the future, Gatorade. Gatorade, you look at the science of Gatorade, how that all started down at, I think it was U University of Florida many, many years ago. The Gators. The Gators, how they got Gatorade. I remember, you know, I can remember back when they were sold in the glass bottles as well. Before I don't remember that. You don't? It's shocking, Jeff. I must, I don't, I don't think I'm, I'm going to go out and live and say I'm not quite, quite your age, Jeff. You're as young as you feel, Troy. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Second down 10 from the 30 following the timeout. Taking a discussion here, not sure what they're 
Yeah, I'm looking around. I'm having trouble figuring out what the holdup is, but the officials looking appear the to clock. be looking at the clock. The clock says 55 seconds. They might want to put one or two more seconds back on. Yeah, they'll make it 10 seconds. Why not? One minute and five seconds. They added 10 seconds to it. We can work on our tans for 10 more seconds. Here's the handoff and a fumble. fumble. And I think the blue team may have it. They're out of there with it. Norman put it on the ground, and that time, Alfonso Ray Jr. scooped it up. Big number 48 for the blue team. Does a nice job here initially, two hands on it. But I love how the blue team comes in. He gets stood up, and everybody else comes in swiping away. Good set up, heads up play there by Alfonso as he comes up with the football. Now Blue's got some time. They got to try to put some points on the board. They'll put it down at the 36, first and 10. It looks like Austin Sly, the quarterback from Maryland, will be in charge of this possession. Elijah Burris, the running back, right next to him. Four receivers. Sly steps up, he's in the grasp. Penalty markers are down, Sly gets away, Ooh. and he'll be dropped at midfield. We'll see what the marker's all about. The tackle by Lubinsky. Lubinsky blows him up in the backfield, but we're gonna have a hold. That's gonna get declined, because you're gonna take the loss of, uh, loss of down end about 12 yards with the sack. Gets a snap, he's looking, looking, but right away he is flushed out of the pocket. I there you see the that. hole, yeah. <laughs> when you go two hands and tackle him, that, that's gonna get it, but a great tackle by Lipinski. Keeps his head up, hits him low, wraps up. That's just textbook tackling. Well, Hatchet, number 60, is a handful, as you said. Here is the connection. We've got a penalty marker down after the pass. Still running with Freeman. They'll finally wrap him up at the 41. And we have a holding that'll bring it all back. That play's designed to cross the grain where his lineman can get the screen downfield set up for him, give him a cutback lane. I don't know, this is, I'm gonna have to do some pretty fancy math here, Jeff, to figure out this is gonna be second down and. Second down and a three wood. Yeah, now for me, I'm looking at a driver. 10, 20, 30, 40, I uh, will call it something. Can't even see the first down marker. That's how far back you are. Clock running, 30 seconds left. Here's a pass over the middle. Freeman hits him on stride, Ooh. and somebody got him around the neck. Freeman's down at the 45, and no penalty markers. That was a very dangerous play. Now he picks up about 20, not enough to get half the first down back. Same here, step up. 13 seconds left. Yeah, they do tackle him right up. You're gonna see it. He gets him right up, clothesline. Looks like old Barry Windham with the Russian Laureate across the ring. Sly is sacked on the play, lost the handle. With four seconds left, they will fumble. Give the ball back to the silver team. Didn't see any indication, but they are in fact going to the sideline to switch places. So ball be placed at midfield with four seconds left. Silver team up 17-0. Probably be more than happy to take a knee and head to the break. Let's see what they elect to do here. Just four seconds left, time for one play. Perez will catch the snap. He does, in fact, take a knee, and we ease our way into halftime. Offensively, it's been all Team Silver. At the break, they lead Team Blue 17 to nothing.
Heads Up Football is the best and in fact the only good way I know of changing the culture. It's really been about uh, creating a safer environment for our kids. Being the pilot program for Heads Up Football and me being the first player safety coach, it's completely changed everything. We're looking around going, why aren't we all doing this? There is nothing here that fundamentally changes the game of football. There's nothing here that we're not currently teaching. We're just teaching it in 25 different ways. And ultimately, there's the potential that we see a return that we're making the game safer. Everything evolves, everything grows, and this is the right thing, the most responsible thing to do. As a league administrator, I mean, I can't even imagine a program that doesn't do it. They adopted this because they love the game. But also, in a couple of years, the youth become high school players. It's an evolving project. Heads Up Football has changed the way we play. It's changed the way we practice, and it's changed the perception in the moms and dads. We have one consistent match of what we're talking about and how we're teaching our, our athletes to play the game. From ankle biter through 12th grade, we have one consistent curriculum. The continuity of the program at the youth level, executed all the way through the high school level, is so very important to the parent. It's kind of part of the fabric of what we do and how we coach now. This just helped us be a better staff and a better community. First and foremost, uh, we've had fewer head injuries. We have seen a sound decrease in concussions, in, in collision injuries. We're able to, to show with data that there's a difference. You know, Centerville High School played in back-to-back -back state championships and had the fewest injuries of our 25 high schools. That's a big deal. It makes me feel better because I know that my son is safer. He would come home and show us the stuff that he's learning. I just felt great about that. I'm like, oh, I'm so glad Heads Up Football is teaching you that. We're making tackles now that maybe we wouldn't have made a couple, you know, a few years ago just because we, we constantly hammer in the, the basics. Through Heads Up Tackling, I definitely am a better player and a better tackler. Our generation is getting taught a different way to tackle, like this is the right way. I think that it's starting to uh, really pay off because our numbers, we're up 40 kids, um, which is huge. Wanting safer football is, you know, is, is absolutely the right thing for kids. Do this. Do it yesterday, both from the youth club level and then from the high school levels because this is only making this a better game, better, safer game. We see the leaves turn and know it's time. A rite of passage with the field as a classroom and hash marks as guidelines. We see teammates becoming friends, friends becoming brothers. We see moms and dads standing taller as their kids dig deeper. We hear laughter and lectures pads popping, get up, get up. praises sung through a face mask, echoing over proving grounds, where character grows stronger and lessons last a lifetime. But we also feel the power of teamwork and the magic of mutual goals. We feel the emotions of triumph and loss, the development and growth of team. And that's why we do what we must to certify coaches are trained, to verify safety measures are taken, testify about the values of the game, to strive relentlessly to satisfy every player and coach's desire to be better. We are caretakers of playing fields that yield enriched lives, teachers and protectors of an American tradition. It is a responsibility we all take seriously, a challenge we all must embrace. Because we are forever football. Halftime in Maslin, 17 nothing in favor of the Silver Team. And uh, the Silver Team just making their way on the field. You can see in the right, off to the right. 
Well, they elected to run about 150 yards to try to get to some shade. The blue team said, you know what? It's hot. No matter where we are, we're just going to stay out yeah. in the field and try to keep our legs here at halftime. Only a five-minute halftime. See if the so. blue team can't get something going here in the second half. Yeah, they won the toss. They deferred to the second half, so they will employ that strategy now and get the football. So what adjustments do they need to make? Well, you got to make some better tackling. They missed a lot of tackles. Offensive line play has got to be a key. You want to get everyone on the same page. Try to keep it pretty simple if you're run plays. Try to get the snap down. Just just play some football. That's that's all you got to do in a situation like this. There's no scouting reports, no film to watch. You just got to come out. You just got to play football. They'll get the ball on the 35-yard line. No kickoffs in this tournament. It's not really a tournament. It's an exhibition. Chance to make a national okay. national team. USA Football National Development Camp. You're somebody just forgetting. Yeah, because you had to go through a, a two-day camp, 27 different two-day camps around the country, each camp having about 900 players at it, just to get to select to be one of these players to play today. Back to live action. Ethan Saylor will start the second half at quarterback. I think they're going to get a personal foul on a defensive lineman for a hit on the quarterback. Exactly right, roughing the quarterback. That should be a first down, should it? Yeah, that's one way to get the ball to the 50-yard line without completing a pass or having a run. First and 10 from the midfield side. Blue team would like to just keep moving the chains. Fumble. They're going to do it that way. They lost the ball. A fumble on the exchange recovered by the silver team. And there's that man fumble again. Play, Hatchet. Hatchet again Marine. coming up with a big Hatchet. fumble recovery out of Washington. Trying to run the read up off the, the shoulder pad. Hatchet Thanks dives in there. First, I got this. The blue, Rips it away. Hatchet's had a pretty good afternoon of football on that defensive line for the silver team. Let's see if the silver team tries to come out here. Sets the offense up on the 45-yard line. Great field position with a 17-0 lead. Always a good spot to start out when you're on the other team's side of the field. is not what the blue team discussed at halftime. I wasn't down there, but I'm guessing. You really got on a limb a lot, Jeff. Yeah. Perez looking for room, not finding any, and he'll go down for a loss. Riker Matthews is going to get credit for the sack. Matthews, another one of those players, Jeff, we've seen out of Texas. A lot of those great, I'm sorry, out of Kentucky. And I see him get flushed out of the pocket. Rolls to his right, feels the pressure from the backside. Missed tackle there, but number 85 coming in. Riker Matthews to make the play. Got back to the original line of scrimmage. And Perez will hand off. Nice move by Norman, weaves his way over the 40 to the 39. He'll pick up about five, so he's halfway to the first down. Brings up third and five. How about the Sox? Worn by, <laughs> by Nicholas Perez. Well, and you always check out the sleeve there. And I was told that it, when you have that sleeve on, like number 25 has there, um, Norman, that means that you've been a uh, veteran of these camps before, so this must be his second or third year here. Pounds his way over the 35 for a first down for the silver team. He'll move the chains inside the 34. Silver team's right on track again as you check out the replay. Gets it. Gets the initial hit. Still manages to pick up seven more yards after getting hit. Good job of running downhill, running with your shoulders low, picking your feet up, delivering contact. Norman and Perez get themselves situated. Perez looks left, throws left. Inside screen is incomplete. 
kind of couldn't hang on. It's intended for Savage. Uh, Hit him right in the pad. Just needs to look that in a little bit better. That's one thing. That's a young, young ride, wide receiver. They want to get something gone before they got the football. You got to look the ball in the entire way. Look it in, snap the head, tuck it away. Norman is out. Edwards is in now at running back. Standing to the left of Perez. He'll get the call. He's got a hole. He's into the linebackers and down to the 25. Coming up is big number 48 there, Alfonso Ray Jr. It's not good when your safeties have to come up and make tackles. Good hole. Breaks the initial tackle. Guys, you got to wrap up, keep your feet. They just, uh, Silver's just gashing them right now. Brings up third down and two. 7.30. Enough to play in the third. Perez will keep it himself. Tries to stiff arm past one defender, and he has slowed up long enough for the rest of the blue team to get there. The fumble came after the play. Well, they're going to see he's down. A lot of zone read. One thing you're seeing t teams do against the zone read is if you're unblocked, if you're the man getting red, if you're the defensive end, defensive tackle, stay right there. Don't rush upfield. Just stay. Make the quarterback take a longer amount of time to make his decision. And a team that's really made that popular defensively is the Seattle Seahawks. That was one of the ways they countered the uh, zone read option of the San Francisco 49ers. Been reading up on a lot with those defensive concepts. If you're the man not getting blocked, if you're the man they're reading, just stay at home and do kind of the opposite of what you're told as a football player. Norman is back at it. And he may have fumbled the ball. He was spinning his way over the 20-yard line and a big pile near the 17. They got it, number 50. <laughs> Dallas Rogers gonna come up with that one. Here you're gonna see a little bit of fatigue step in. He gets ganged up, everyone's starting to strip that ball. I think the strip, give the credit there to Alfonso Ray Jr. That young man's been all over the field today as he's gonna get credit with the strip. So no quit so far out of this blue team, Jeff. Down 17 nothing with just over six and a half minutes left to play in the third. Still plenty of time. They really need to put a drive together. It will be Ken Seals catching the snaps. He'll swing it out. This is Freeman. Avoids one tackler. Gets to the 20-yard line. And if we can get a replay of that, they're going to get away with a big block in the back at the top of your screen here and the sponsored by the Cutters Quarter. See, you're just going to swing out. You're going to see the block in the back. There's a hold, but there's just a shove in the back. <laughs> Frees him up for an extra couple of yards. Manages to pick up two. Second down eight. Seals gives to Burris. Trying to turn the corner. He's got first down yardage. Elijah Burris scoots out of bounds near midfield. Well, he knocked out about the 50. Finally run out of bounds by number 24. 48-yard line is the spot. First and 10 blue. This is what the blue team needed. They need to get a couple of first downs, keep their defense off the field, get some confidence back. See him just that train. Look at him chugging down the tracks. That's a big man showing good wheels down the sidelines. He has speed and power, that rare combination. Good size to go with it. Seals wants to throw right, nobody's there. He'll have to tuck it in and get what he can. He's into silver territory at the 49-yard line. Tackle by number 91, Eugenio. Take a look at the replay here. Yep, nothing there, gonna luck to Pick keep it. Three on the play, brings up second down and seven. Picked up some yardage out of it. Seals, pumps, fires deep, wide open. Did he catch it? Did he stand out? Yes. He sure did. Great catch over there. Great concentration by Jabris Brown to haul that in inside the 20-yard line. That's just what the blue team needed, Troy. And you know what? That's called redemption. After dropping a catch earlier in the game, he makes the harder catch this time. Down the sidelines, manages to stay in bounds. Great catch of the game so far. That is redemption. That makes up for the drop he had earlier in the game. The wind is drifting toward the sideline, and that's where it took him. Burris can't find anything right. He'll try left. 
and a great open field tackle stuffs him at the 19-yard line. How about that effort by the outside linebacker? Well, he just stayed at home. You always want to be, if you're that outside backer or DB, you got to check when action goes away. you got to check counter reverse or cutback because you're the man trying to save the home run ball. There you see, he's going to cut back. Oh, now the quarterback says, I'm going to throw a block. i got to stick my nose in there, something we don't see a lot. Coming up number 25 there to make the tackle, John Norman. Playing both ways for the silver team. Back to live action, the hookup, shy of the 10 yard line. Coming up on about 420 to play in the third quarter. Passes complete to number this is just what James Team Green. Blue needed. Brings up about third down and Stop four. the silver team, they got a chance here to score. Burris, short side of the field, and a nice move gets him inside the 10-yard line. He may have first and goal here. I think he does. He got down to the five. They're going to say first and goal. Get a look at him there on the sidelines. Burris bounces it out to the sidelines. Picks it up. Six yard line, first down goal to go. 4.02 remaining, third period. Referees are telling him to start the clock. Seals makes the read, hangs on to the ball. Down to the down two, nine, maybe the one. The Gonna get stoned down at the one yard line. Take a look at the read here. And never gets a chance to mesh with the tailback, so he gets to keep it himself. Good surge up front, but a nice job of closing in quickly by the defensive line. And we've got a silver player shaken up. Both teams heading to their benches while they tend to him. And you're seeing a lot of the silver players over there. Yeah, they're down on knee. They're just waiting for some water. Well, they take a look at the injured player. We'll step aside, 3.42 to play, 17-0 silver, but the blue team is threatening. What does it take to become elite? It takes more than dedication, focus, and hard work. It takes an elite level training program. Customized, sport specific, online. Your perfect workout, every time. That's Vault Athletics. to the sideline for the silver team flanked by trainers on either side they'll take him over and evaluate him ball will be placed on the one yard line it's second down goal to go 342 to go here easily the best scoring threat for the blue team all day once again, the referee's calling for them to run the clock, and yeah, now they finally get it started. Seals gives the ball to Burris, sheds a tackler. Might have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Again, great penetration by Team Silver. Yeah, they're doing a good job up front, not allowing these running backs to have a chance to catch their breath. This is where you want to get good penetration. You want to belly the running back deeper into the backfield, allow your linebackers to scrape, stretch out the play. And keep him from getting into the goal line. They'll call it the two-yard line. Third and goal. Ben Seals. Burris. Nice move. Got the pylon for the blue touchdown. Burris does a nice job of evading a couple of tackles. Manages to just keep bouncing it, bouncing it out to the sideline. Gets it in for six. I'm going to get a look at the touchdown run here. It's supposed to hit up, bounce out. Oh, picks up a great block there from the end. Can't get a number on that young man. Sets it up for him to get in for the touchdown. That might have been number 87. 
of the tight end there. Zion Robbins Evans out of Washington. Picks up a good seal block. Parker Hannon. His first place kick of the afternoon. He's also the punter for the blue team. Nice kick. And right down the middle. And the extra point Almost is 254 left to play third period. It's 17 7. He almost made it over the uh, the netting in the back. That's, that's a nice cat kick. That's exactly what the blue team needed. They would have preferred to score in 30 seconds, but they put right. a drive down. More important to get points. Well, they got some confidence back. You put some points on the board, you feel a little bit better. Plus, her defense has had a ch chance here to rest here a little bit. They've been off the field for, for more than just two or three plays. They've had a chance, 10, 15 minutes rest, talk to their defensive coordinator, and get everything gone as the officials are calling the silver team out. Hey, it's time to play ball. Bye, 35-yard line is where the drive will start. Madden Lowe back at quarterback. He'll hang on to the ball. Kicks it outside. And is wrapped up at the 44-yard line. Second down one. Lowe looks like he's going to be just shy of the, just shy of the first down, but some pretty nifty running in here. Does a nice job. There's the defensive end. 94 comes in hard. That means Lowe's going to pull it out. He's checking backside. Not good read by the quarterback. That's a quick read to make. Does a nice job on it. Same play, but he lets the running back have a shot at it. He's going to lose about a half a yard. Jake Langdon. He lost a yard. It's third down, two yards to go. And a chance for the blue defense to get off the field. Two minutes, clock running, third period. Low. <laughs> I don't think he wanted to hand it off, but Langdon took it from him. Yeah, I don't think the uh, he was supposed to. He looked at him. If we can get a little replay on this, just the expression on the quarterback when the tailback. You don't want to take it out of your quarterback's hands, which he does here. He's like, "What? Oh, give that back! I was supposed to throw it." And he probably didn't want to hand it off there when it was fourth and or third and twelve. The loss makes it fourth and five. And Jackson Landrum will punt it away. So the blue team mission accomplished on the defensive side. Well, they get the three and out. Trying to get the ball with decent field position as well. Catch is made in the neighborhood of the 35 yard line. That's where the blue team will take over. A hot offense. They're gonna get right back out there and a chance to really cut into this deficit. Yeah, they want to come down, answer back again. See if they can't put some more points on the board before the quarter ends. They still got minute 09 here in the quarter. Let's see who is at quarterback. Once again, it'll be Seals who led them down the field for their first score on their last possession. Give the ball to Dunn. Not much there. Yeah, there's not much there to run with uh, Dunn at the tailback position. Good pursuit once again, right down the line. The silver team, you're going to see him pursue right down the line. You got number 60 getting in there for the tackle. That number 60 is Hatchet. How many times have we called his name tonight, Jeff? He's had a nice afternoon. 40 seconds left to play in the period. And once again, it's second down at 15. Some confusion here. I think they want to try to get maybe some one-on-one -on -one coverage with Brown. Seals. Ends up handing the ball off. And that may good, be good enough for a first down. I think that's Alfonso Ray Jr. again, isn't it? Trying to spot 48. the number. Yeah, it is 48. Alfonso, Alfonso Ray, Ray carries the ball. Just a powerful running back. He's playing two ways for the blue team. One tackle, two tackle, three, four, five, six. 
Seven, he drags him. Drags the would-be tackler. A determined run for a first down. Two seconds left. This will be the final play of the period. Seals pulls it out. He'll run. Picks up about two. And that is the end of the third quarter. After three quarters here in Maslin, Ohio, the USA Football National Development Camp, 17-7 in favor of Team Silver. Same as sports performance, whether we're talking about Olympic athletes or middle school and high school athletes, the foundation is the same. We want to remove dysfunction and then build upon their sports specific movements to allow them to function at a very high level on and off the field. Seventeen seven, silver with a ten point advantage, but blue has the ball as we start the final period. Final period of the final game. Hey, we've played eleven so far. This one looks like it might come right down to the wire. Some great talent over the last three weeks, and you know, big time sports. We're glad to be a. Flings it for a first down. It's grabbed by Freeman. He is into silver territory, down to the thirty-four yard line. Freeman making a great catch. Clarence Freeman out of California to slicing right down the field, making a great catch. How about the pocket presence of a middle schooler by the name of Ken Seals? He just stood tall in that pocket, actually flipped the ball around in his hand, looked very relaxed. I'll tell you, I didn't coach too many of those kids when I was a middle school coach. He'll throw again, and that's popped oh, in the air. Off. It'll be intercepted. Return to the near side and out of bounds with authority. Brendan Veenstra is able to intercept that one on the rebound. Nice throw was through the hands of Jabris Brown. This is the, that's a tip drill right there. Thank you very much. We're gonna come down, get to the sideline, stiff arms one. Right now you throw a pick, What's this? you gotta be the quarterback. You intercept my pass, you gotta pay. I'm gonna make you pay big time for it. <laughs> that was just rage, anger. Put it down at the 49 yard line, Silver takes over. Another good drive by Blue, but nothing to show for it. They'll go to the air, Caden Lansford goes deep. Oh. That's tipped and intercepted. Up the sideline, Team Blue, and they've got a convoy of blockers. Inside the 40. Still on his feet. Still on his feet, back to the 40, and they finally wrap him up. They'll give him forward progress to the 41-yard line. Back-to-back -back plays with back-to-back -back interceptions. Ethan Chisholm coming up with a big interception out of Washington. Great play. Nice play there, Mr. Chisholm. Team Silver. Going for the knockout punch after that interception. And instead, they get blew the ball back. Almost where it was when they lost it a moment ago. That's just what I was thinking. It's tip drill, folks. This is why you practice it. Hey, you want to have your nose around the football. You got your nose around the football. Good things are going to happen. Gets to the sideline. Convoy, convoy. Credit Hank Olson with the tip. Now back to the air. This one intended for Brown will have a penalty. Yeah. That's Norman, John Norman playing both ways for the silver team on a very hot, sweltering day. And that's an easy one to call there. When you tackle the wide receiver before the ball's even thrown, you're gonna get called for that. So that'll be 15 yards, I believe. Yeah, they're gonna get the ball at about the 26. Well, a touchdown by the blue team would certainly make this interesting, wouldn't it? 
No overtime games here, folks. This is Sly at quarterback, and he'll throw incomplete. Sly getting forced out of the pocket again, scrambling around. That one's just going to ricochet off the tendon receiver. Try to hook up with Elkins. Wells broke it up. 8.52 remaining. We're in the final period. Second down and 10 call for Team Blue. Austin Sly is out of Maryland. And he'll hand off. Jire Dunn can't quite get the corner. He gets cut down in the backfield by Zachary Angel. Linebacker out of tack, Texas. Tries to get to the sideline there. Just can't get up field. Great play there also by number 52. Nathan Lebitsky comes up to make the tackle. Linebacker out of Wisconsin. Sly right over the middle, incomplete. Tried to hook up with Freeman in traffic. Right behind him, five yards deeper, was Elkins, who had a hand up. He was open. Going to bring up fourth down. They're going to go for it, obviously. Fourth and 12. At this point, a punt probably gets them inside the 10-yard line. but Or it'll get them out to the 20. Here is Sly, heading to the sideline, looking for room to throw, and he won't find any. He will instead find Nathan Lubinsky, or maybe it's the other way around. Yeah, Lubinsky finds him working sideline to sideline. Lubinsky, I think, is going to come from the backside here, and he's just going to run him down. Just keeps coming. I can't tell if that's Lubinsky or Clay Matthews making the play out there. Wisconsin football is in good hands. That young man around. Yeah, good tackling as well. We'd like to thank our good friends, the Squad Locker, for sponsoring this quarter. First and 10, 32 yard line. See if Silver can't string some things together here. Nathan, uh, Nicholas Perez out at quarterback. A little confusion at a timeout will be utilized by Team Silver. Timeout comes with 8.04 left to play. I'd like to thank again our good friends at Squad Locker. Squad Locker, proud supporter of USA Football. Don't forget you can always check USA Football out, football out on the web at usafootball.com. That's usafootball.com. USA Football also proud to partner with Volt Athletics to provide U.S. national team athletes with cutting-edge strength and conditioning programs. Volt provided the U.S. national team athletes with eight weeks of free training to prepare them for this moment. First and 10 call, Perez will hand off. They'll keep it on the ground, and that will go for a two-yard loss to the 30-yard line. Materius Aldridge again coming in to make the big play. Tackle for a loss. That, that is a athletic and big young man right there, Jeff. Big number 91. See if the blue team can put a stop to this. Get that offense back on the field. Perez gives to Cade Campbell. He'll pick up a few yards before they force him out of bounds at the 32. I'm sure right now his coaches are telling him, hey, try to stay in bounds, try to eat up some of that clock as he's going to be driven out, bringing up a third and about eight. 33-yard line officially, third and long. Perez from the shotgun. And Ooh. the handoff to Kate Campbell. And the defensive end was there. He met up with uh, Johnny Lawless. Big number 22, Johnny Lawless. Linebacker out of California meets him right in the hole. And that, if you're a defensive coach, you've got to love that. You teach your linebackers, you see the running back, you meet him right in the hole, and you meet him with an attitude. And that was a perfect form. They will force Silver three and out, and good boy, in the wind. 
Nice punt by Nice Jackson catch on the run at the 25 yard line. Was that will set up the blue team with six minutes and 40 seconds remaining here in period number four. See what they can get going here at this time. Here with the ball at the 25 yard line. Don't forget, you can follow Big Time Sports Twitter at BTS Ohio. It's sending out some tweets here about some of the great plays we've seen so far in this game. Big Time Sports, proud to partner with USA Football, bringing you all the action the last three weeks. Hope we can do it again next year. Jeff, I know you've enjoyed it today. I've had a great time coming here. Spent all week over at Walsh University watching the players, getting to know them, talking to some of the coaches. You can't ask for anything better than this. Like Christmas in July. Here's a deep wobbler. Got caught up in that wind and incomplete. Ethan Saylor trying to go deep. He had a man open, but uh, the ball just kind of fluttered in that wind. Yeah, I think the wind probably caught it up there a little bit. We haven't normally seen him throw uh, too many bad passes today. Does a nice job of adjusting the football in his hands. But as you said, the higher that ball goes, the more the wind's going wind's gonna to come on it as the uh, wide receiver got tangled up a little bit with the defensive back. Taylor rolling left, he'll tuck it in and run. 27 yard line, sets up third and long. Third and about nine, good penetration. Once again, the defense of the silver team does a nice job of putting the pressure on the quarterback. Can't look downfield for very long because he knows that pressure out of that front four is gonna be barreling down on him. That's oh. caught, and there's no one going to get James Bray. The defender gambled, and he lost. James Bray wide open. I mean, wide open. When the DB falls down, James Bray makes him pay. Take another look. You see the defender thought he had a chance on it. And once he came up empty, Prey looked around and he had 50 yards of open real estate. Prey wide open. He can just take this one into the end zone. Parker Hannon with a very large extra point. And plenty on that one. He knocks it through and with 548 to play in the fourth period. Don't look now. We've got a three point game. Yeah, we've got a good game here. We thought, you know, Silver might kind of run away with this, but Team Blue, give them credit. They haven't stopped. They battled, they battled, and they just keep fighting the entire way. 17-14, and you saw the leg on Hannon. He can make a field goal. Oh yeah, they just gotta get the ball inside the 25. 5.48 to go here. See if the Silver team does try to eat up some clock. Now the problem that the blue team has when you talk about field goals, they are going into the wind. It's directly in their faces right now. And that wind's starting to kick up here, which sure is making some of our fans very happy. Sitting out on the hot bleachers when it's about 99 degrees out. And off low will give the ball to the running back. And a very inspired defensive unit for the blue team puts a stop to that. Yeah, the blue team is kind of electric right now. They got electrified there at the big plays from their offense. Silver team still going no huddle. Low wants to throw. He oh! is swallowed up and sacked. Luke Horn. The sack monster coming from the backside. Boy, Luke he never Horn. saw him coming. He just look at him fight from the defensive end position. That's from the blind side right there. He just comes off the edge, keeps his outside arms free. Is that Luke Horn or Lawrence Taylor? It's, it's hard to tell. Third and 20. Blue team is on a roll right now. Low fires over the middle. Incomplete Ooh. and almost intercepted. He tried to hook up with Caniff. And there to break it up, Alfonso Ray, and now fourth down and 20 with 4.47 remaining. Plenty of time left for Team Blue. Yeah, Silver only took about 45 seconds off the clock. It was 17-0 at the half. It's 14-0 in the second half in favor of the Blue team. 
the punt. Uh oh. High end over end kick. And it will be fielded in the neighborhood of the 45 47 yard line. See where they put it down. Looks like the 47 for Team Blue. 4 44 in the fourth. Pretty good possession. Pretty good position here to start. Start this drive here. Plenty of time. Quarter number four. Field goal ties it, a touchdown would give Team Blue their first lead of the day. This is the final game of the three week national development camp. And it is turning out to be one of the best games. Good job of pounding his way across the 50 yard line. Off the read there, number 18, the Ethan defense, Saylor. Tackled by number 50, Dylan Brooks. You're gonna, gonna see him here off the, off the fake. Nice, nice job of carrying the fake out. Manages to get across the, the 50. Four minute mark, Troy. Sailor hooks up, this is Freeman, applies the brakes and gains about a yard to the 49. He's gonna get swarmed by a host of silver tackles. Number 60 in on that play, hatchet again. He's been everywhere. Dylan Brooks, I believe, is also in on that. Great change of direction. Under four minutes remaining. Six. What do you do if you don't make it here? Sailor airs it out, this is way too long. This is a receiver from Virginia. Stops the clock with 3.39. Fourth and six at midfield, and it would appear your vote does. And they got him to jump. Uh, yeah, then, then it's, it's an easy call. I know I try to make the mayday shift play, but not sure if any of these, well, you can't do it out of the punt formation here because there's no rush allowed. I wouldn't rule out another hard count. Trying to get everybody lined up. Ray is the running back. Sailor will hang on to it. He's got the first down. Ethan Sailor inside the 40 yard line. Take another look at this here. He's going to get the first down. It's a quarterback. Good hard at the first down. I like seeing that. Again, these are middle school players. How about the presence of Sailor? He's got everybody. Got to play to the whistle. Inside the 40 yard line, 33. Number 48, Alfonso Ray. Jr. Alfonso Ray making plays on both sides of the ball for Team Blue. It's him right there, cutting through. Kind of tiptoes through, manages to keep his feet going. Got to hit him low, young man. Sailor will hang on to it. 35, stiff arm, maybe a yard. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Clock is running, and now clock is not running. See him there, he gets the lead block. He's gonna tuck it away, stiff arm. Quarterbacks throwing stiff arms. He threw a block earlier. This is a throwback quarterback right here, folks. Rock is stopped with exactly two and a half minutes left. It will be third down and three from the 33. He's going to throw passes. He's going to throw touchdowns. He's going to throw blocks. As we're getting ready for our Volt timeout. USA Football proud to partner with Volt Athletics to provide U.S. national team athletes with cutting edge strength and conditioning programs. Volt provided the U.S. national team athletes with eight weeks of free training to prepare them for this moment. That's two months. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of, it's uh, a lot of condition, a lot of training you get. Third down, a little more than two yards, just barely three. Sailor wants to sail with them into the end zone. Right? Quarterback, Alfonso Ray, the running back, fights his way to the 31, and the ball Ball's may be loose. loose. Silver team says they have it. The officials say they have it as well. It's down, though. 
Good job pulling the backside end. No, he wasn't down. Once again, guys at Image Video, Johnny on the spot, giving us the perfect angle every time, giving us the perfect shot of the game. So Saylor, a little encouragement as he heads to the sideline. Make sure he's okay physically as well. I want to take a minute here to thank the men and women in the United States Armed Forces for all they do, defending our freedoms across the world and some godforsaken country most Americans can't find on a map. I'd also like to thank our first responders out there for, for everything that they do. When there's trouble and most people are running away from it, they're running to it, uh, risking their lives every day to protect us. So we just want to say you thank you very much. Well, the silver team with the ball and the three-point lead. Caden Lansford at quarterback, and he'll hand off to Norman. Looks like 2.18 to go on the stop clock with a timeout. So Blue will use the timeout. Timeout on the field. Remember to go check out USA Football on the web at usafootball.com. Our good friends at Just Play Sports Solutions for sponsoring this timeout and sponsoring USA Football. So Team Blue, the message to the defense is obvious. We've got to get the ball back, right? Uh, let the, let's get the ball back as much as we can. As we got Upper Deck Baseball, Upper Deck Cards. Proud sponsor of USA Football. That's Upper Deck. Flip Give, helping players raise money to play here for USA Football. That's Flip Give. Hey, St. Vincent, Vincent Sports Care out of Indianapolis, Indiana, helping uh, athletes perform at their best every day. St. Vincent Sports Performance. Hey, how about the guys at Glossy Finish Life Touch? Official photographers of USA Sport, USA Football. Second down eight. Keeping it is Lansford. They string it out. They keep him in bounds, however. That's what you want to do if you're the silver team. You want to stay in bounds, kind of chew up some of the clock. You see the coach there holding him on the sideline, saying, okay, we got some time. I can't Blue imagine there's any way they're putting the ball in the air here. You know what? I've seen crazier things. We saw a great ending to a game last week we thought was over with about four minutes to go, and it came down to the final play of the game. Clock is running. We're at 145. Let's remember, Jeff, we're dealing with middle school kids. And when you're dealing with that age, anything can happen. Absolutely. And usually does. Lansford going down for a loss at the 31-yard line. Whistle stop the clock as Blue will burn a timeout with 1.22 left. And now you get the ball back on a punt. QB keeps it. Come here. We have called a lot tonight. How about our good friends at Shadow Man Sports? Thank you very much to our proud sp USA Football at Shadow Man Sports. As we await the punt, Jackson Landrum will hangs another one up in the wind. Boy, those are some special Jackson punts from a middle school aged punt. player. I can tell some local high school coaches around here would like to have that young man uh, find his way to Northeast Ohio and Stark County. 25-yard line. 117 left to play. And have a minute and 17 to get into field goal position to try and tie this up. 117 to go here. You got no timeouts. 75 yards to pay dirt. Try to get the win. I don't think they came to Ohio to get a tie, Jeff. No timeouts yet. If they line up for a field goal, they have all the time they need. Oh, we've we've seen that a couple of times today. Here's a pass. It's incomplete. Went through the hands of the intended receiver, James Graves. His hitch routes there. Clock does stop, though. 113. Just going to see him run a little hitch route. Can't climb the ladder enough to get bring that one in, haul it in. Field goal ties it, touchdown wins it. Here's Seals, hit as he throws. It is up and incomplete, intended for Prey. He got tangled up on the sideline and fell down before he really had a chance at it. Well, I'd try to come back to Brown. Brown's good, tall, wide receiver. Try to get him on some single coverage, maybe run him away from trips. Clock is stopped with 1.06 remaining. 
Quarterback got some type of signal going. They're gonna need to hit a big play here. At least 10 yards. Here's the throw, that it's is off. intercepted by Norman, and Norman is going to put John this one away for Team Silver. John Norman, John Norman with the interception return, the pick six, 23-14 with 54 seconds left, and that ought to do it. Norman's come up big all day on, on both sides of the ball. That's come, in, come up as a big player on both sides of the ball all day today. He's just gonna sit there, read flats, those hitch routes again. He's going to sit, read, just pick, steps right in front of it, gets the pick. Jackson Landrum on the try for point. Trying to push this thing out to a 10 point advantage. Up and good. 54 seconds left to play. Silver. 24, blue, 14. That's going to be our cutter's catch. Catch of the game. Just comes up, gets the interception. Norman, we've talked about him all game, Jeff. Going to come up with a big interception here, kind of seal the deal. Going to take it about 37 yards to pay dirt. Cutters football gloves and its grip technology in a league of their own. Cutters football gloves, the official glove of the U.S. national team. Just a matter of 54 seconds left, not only in this game, but in the whole shooting match, yeah. the whole thing. I want to thank our good friends at USA Football for helping us out today as well. Great they, people. Great people. They've done a great job getting us our stats. I want to thank Christina Taggart especially. Uh, been emailing, talking with her back and forth, texting. She's done a great job getting us rosters, numbers, background information on all the players. Everyone at USA Football, thank you very much. Uh, you've made our job pretty easy today, and we appreciate that. Can't be easy to keep track of all these young men and what teams they're on and where they're from. We're trying to organize 38 players from 38 different states coming to Ohio uh, to play is, is not an easy task at all. Here's a catch. Down to the 43-yard line. Sean, 15 seconds left. Might get one more playoff here. Unless it's incomplete. There's a throw and an incompletion near midfield. That one intended for Lanzo. With three seconds left, Austin Sly will have one more heave down the field. Make it a good one, Austin. That is incomplete with no time left on the clock, and this one is over. The final score of today's final game, Team Silver 24, Team Blue 14. There's our final. There's uh, Team Silver 24, Blue 14. Just a great game here today as both teams are shaking hands here at Perry Stadium in Maslin Township. I think we're going to take a look at our player of the game. And fans, make sure to travel home safely. That's going to be John Norman, our player of the game. Brought to you by Shock Doctor. Contributed on both sides of the ball. You see he scored a touchdown in the first half offensively. And then the pick for the touchdown you saw moments ago. Sponsored by Shock Doctor. Trust your teeth and smile to Shock Doctor mouth guards. Trusted by athletes all over the world. Shock Doctor, the official mouth guard of the U.S. national team. That's the story from Perry in Maslin, Ohio. 24-14, our final thanks to our image video crew. Great job as always, and to you for being with us. For Troy Richardson, Jeff Shreve saying so long from Maslin.
will have one oh, more God. heave and down the one. field. Make it a good one, Austin. That is incomplete with no time left on the clock, and this one is over. The final score of today's final game, Team Silver 24, Team Blue 14. There's our final. There's uh, Team Silver 24, Blue 14. Just a great game here today as both teams are shaking hands here at Perry Stadium in Maslin Township. I think we're going to take a look at our player of the game. That's going to be John Norman, our player of the game. Brought to you by Shock Doctor. Contributed on both sides of the ball. You see he scored a touchdown in the first half offensively. And then the pick for the touchdown you saw moments ago. Sponsored by Shock Doctor. Trust your teeth and smile to Shock Doctor mouth guards. Trusted by athletes all over the world. Shock Doctor, the official mouth guard of the U.S. national team. That's the story from Perry in Massillon, Ohio. 24-14, our final thanks to our image video crew. Great job as always, and to you for being with us. For Troy Richardson, Jeff Shreve saying so long from Massillon.